What up my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a grocery haul for you and we also have three dessert recipes that I absolutely love. They are so delicious. Two of them are super simple. I think they only have like four or five ingredients each. And then the last one, it's a bit more involved, but I promise it's worth it. The first one we make together is actually a Trader Joe's recipe directly from their website. John does take it up a notch, but they're basically peanut butter brownies. Absolutely amazing. And then we also have something I kind of threw together and it's a crescent roll recipe that has peanut butter, cream cheese, and chocolate chips and a little bit of honey. And then last, we have one of my most requested dessert recipes. Whenever I had potlucks at work, fundraisers that I needed to contribute to, anytime it was like a long weekend and our friends were all getting together, one of the recipes that always got requested from me was my strawberry shortcake. So I'm sharing it in this video and I'm excited for you guys to try it out. As I was editing, I realized I didn't mention it. When I make the strawberry shortcake, you may see that after I cut up the strawberries, I take the tops of the strawberries and I put it in a Ziploc bag. One of my friends gave me a hack. She told me she cuts off the top of the strawberry to prep the fruit and then she saves those tops for when she makes smoothies for her kids or for herself because it has extra fiber in it. You guys know I love minimizing food waste so I thought that was a really good hack that I wanted to share with you. So just so you guys know of some upcoming videos I have on Tuesday we're gonna have a bonus video. I usually only do two videos a week but this week I am going to post a video on Tuesday of all of the books that I read in February as well as my top 15 book recommendations overall. So please stay Stay tuned for that. And then a couple other videos, I don't know how the schedule is gonna work out, but we have one where I take three pounds of ground turkey and I make dreams come true. You would not believe the amount of meals I got out of three pounds of ground turkey. I'm also going to do a get ready with me video. I mentioned this in the last one, but if you guys have any questions for me or have any things that you wanna discuss, please leave it in the comments and I will add it to the list. I do wanna just make a note for this video. When I filmed the grocery haul at the beginning, I was incredibly sick. So you're gonna notice that my energy and my voice is just not the level that you guys are probably used to if you've been here before. So just a warning on that. If you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a chance and clicking on that thumbnail. Please feel free to check out the rest of my channel if you end up liking this video because I have plenty of more content like it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, my friends, last night I placed a Kroger order and this morning it got delivered. If you've been here before, I've talked about the service like a million times, but I just need to keep spreading the word. If you have a Kroger in your area, I don't even have an actual Kroger store in my area. So even if you don't check their website to see if they possibly have a delivery service to your area, you can pay a one-time annual fee, which varies in price because sometimes you can get deals and things like that. I wanna say I paid $79 for the entire year. If you pay the annual fee, there's no individual service delivery charge. Now, they also had a thing going on when I did it where it was like the first three deliveries, they waived the fee and it was $15 off a $75 order or more. What I love about the Kroger app is that they do not hide coupons. They actually encourage coupons. So I'll talk about some of the coupons that I was able to get on this order. So everything that you see here, including all of those Pedialytes in the back, was $60. So let's talk about what we got. At these organic kiwis right here, these were on sale with the coupon for $1.99 per box. And this is a one pound box of kiwis. My kids love kiwis, so I, I snapped. As soon as I saw that, I was like definitely grabbing that. I also got some blueberries. These were on sale for $4.99, I wanna say, which isn't like the world's best price. You can definitely get these a little bit cheaper per ounce at Costco or something. But I just wanted to make some um, like blueberry muffins or maybe blueberry pancakes for the kids. They also had a really good deal on strawberries. These were $1.99 per pound. So I grabbed two packs of those because my son is obsessed with strawberries. Over here, they had these um, mandarin oranges on sale. So this is two pounds. And I wanna say it was like either $2.99 or $3.99, something along those lines, very reasonable. So I grabbed those for me because those are my favorite snacks. Pretty much anytime I do any type of grocery order, Costco order, or whatever, you're going to see me grab bananas because um, my kids love bananas and I love um, baking with bananas. So we always have bananas. The other thing is if your bananas are about to go bad, you can freeze bananas really easy, either to save for smoothies or um, pancakes. Or if you guys saw my recent video, I, I made uh, banana muffins 
using frozen bananas. So don't be shy about if your bananas are getting bad, throwing them in the freezer if you can't make something with them right away. We got these recently, these little petite gold gourmet potatoes, and they were like so delicious. Like I've never had a potato itself have so much flavor, even without like a, a lot of seasoning and stuff. So I, I grabbed another bag of that for something, who knows what. Pedialyte. Now, I was super stoked about this because I, I was about to order Pedialyte through Target because I figured Target would be the cheapest route to go. We're not really like Walmart people. I don't shop there a lot. I know they probably would have the best price, but I was like, oh, let me just check Kroger for when I do my grocery order. And if they're somewhat comparable, I might as well just have them deliver it so I don't have to make an extra trip to Target. Thank God I did because Target, these are $6.89, I want to say, for these uh, 33 ounce ones. Kroger had them on sale for $5.99, which was great because I was like, okay, that's almost a dollar cheaper. But they had a coupon for $2 off and you could use it five times per transaction. So these ended up only being $3.99 each. Which, I mean, who gets stoked about Pedialyte being on sale? Me. Um, my kids don't drink a lot of juice, and they don't drink um, anything really outside of water or milk. They just don't need it. They, they like water. They like milk. However, they've been really sick recently, and Pedialyte is one of the things that they recommend to make sure they're getting hydrated when sick. So I just grabbed that to um, mix it up a little bit and get them some extra electrolytes. Over here, I got a bell pepper and onion no plans for that. It's just like bell pepper and onion are something that work in like so many different types of recipes. So I just grabbed it to have it. So then that way I can kind of figure out what I want to do. Over here, um, I actually went to Costco like a week ago, not even a week ago, maybe like three or four days ago. And I was going to get ground turkey there, but this is $3.33 a pound. It's $10 for a three pound carton. Costco, when I priced it out, it was like six seventy dollars per pound. So this is actually a better deal. I will say the Costco one was organic. They didn't have a different brand than I normally get there. And in a different life, I would have been like, yeah, let's pay the extra money for organic. But with the way everything is right now, I'm like, no, let's just take the savings where we can. So I grabbed this and this is perfect to split up into three different types of meals. I also grabbed some of this peeled garlic. I recently discovered the easiest way to mince garlic is to just toss this in a food processor and mince it up. And then you can mix it with a little bit of oil, put it in a jar, and then keep it in the fridge for a few days, or you can put it in the freezer. I also saw a trick where you put it in ice cube trays, and then you can just pop out a little ice cube of garlic whenever you need it. I thought that was smart. And then over here, I grabbed a pack of Sweet Hawaiian Sliders. These were on sale for $2.99, only this brand. So this brand, it was a 12 count from Pepperidge Farms, and it was um, either $2.99 or $3.99. The King's Hawaiian brand, which is the one everybody usually does, nine count for $6.89. So this you got more for almost half the price. So I, I swung for that. Maybe it won't be as good, but it'll do the job. We have some leftover ham from a ham we made, so we'll be making some sliders. And then last but not least, I just got our like emergency freezer pizza, basically. Like if we really are super tired, don't have any plans for dinner, don't know what to do, want to avoid spending $80 on ordering in pizza, we will toss one of these bad boys in. I love stuffed crust cheese. So these are kind of like on the pricier side, it's $8.99 for one pizza. But to me, that's still a huge savings over ordering takeout pizza. So anyways, that is everything from Kroger today. I shared in a recent Trader Joe's haul video how obsessed we are with this brownie mix. One of my best friends had sent me a box of it years ago with a package of the peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. Essentially, you make the brownie mix per the package instructions, and then once it's done, you put the peanut butter cups on top and then stick it back in the oven for a few minutes so they melt down. It turns into almost a frosting on the brownies. John decided to take it to a new level this time by mixing in some of the Trader Joe's peanut butter chips as well. It was such a good addition. These are absolutely divine and so easy to throw together. If you have a gift to give, it would be so cute to do it like my friend did. Grab somebody a box of the mix, the peanut butter cups and peanut butter chips and print out the recipe for them. You will become their favorite person and you can thank me later. As I always do, I'll have the recipes for these down in the description box for you to recreate.
So I have a can of crescent rolls to use up and I usually use those to make kind of like a breakfast pizza, but I wanted to see if I could come up with some type of a dessert for it instead. So mine were specifically sweet Hawaiian crescent rolls. And what I did was I took a silicone baking mat and put a little bit of flour on it and then rolled out the crescent dough and pushed the seams together so it turned into almost like a pie crust. I spread some cream cheese over that and then drizzled it with some peanut butter that I had melted in the microwave for 20 seconds. Then I sprinkled that with chocolate chips, rolled it up and cut it into 12 pieces. I popped those into the muffin tin, which I had greased with a little bit of cooking spray. These got cooked at 375 degrees for about eight minutes until they were golden brown. Once I got them out of the oven, I drizzled them with a little bit of honey. That was completely optional, but a step I would recommend. we have the most delicious strawberry shortcake recipe it's kind of chaotic but it's something that I've been making for years people request it every time I do a fundraiser or something I make this in like little cups and people go absolutely feral for it so there's three components to it one is the cake itself the other is like a custard section and then the last is the strawberry so for the cake in the middle here I'm using an angel food cake mix and I'm gonna be adding some almond extract and some vanilla bean paste. You could also do vanilla extract or completely omit that if you wanted because I just feel like it elevates the box mix. Now, if you don't wanna do a box mix, you could also take an even further shortcut and just grab some pound cake or angel food cake that's already made in the bakery section of your grocery store. Even Target has it sometimes. Or you could go crazy and make your own cake if you wanted to. For the strawberry section, we obviously need strawberries, so those are getting washed right now. That's why they're not here. But it's gonna have some strawberry jello, cornstarch, and sugar. And then for the custard section, it's a combination of Cool Whip, cream cheese, and sweetened condensed milk. So that's everything that is gonna go into this party tonight. Now for the grand finale of desserts, the one that if you only make one recipe from this video, I would recommend making this one. As I mentioned, it is a little chaotic. There are quite a few steps to it, but I promise it is so, so worth it. So with there being three different components to this, it kind of feels like you're making three separate recipes. So if you happen to see pound cake or angel food cake already made at the store, don't feel bad about taking the shortcut. Also, this recipe is really easy to make and break up into different days. So if you wanted to make elements of it one day and then just assemble the next day, you totally could. And as I mentioned, I'll have all of the recipes down in the description box. If you happen to have a friend that loves baking, don't be shy about sending them this video and letting them know I said it's a must make.
All right, you guys, I just wanted to show you. So we made an entire trifle dish. John is gonna present it. Oh. Can you imagine? Um, we made an entire trifle dish. This has three layers with beef sauteed with peas and onions. Let me know if you get that reference. Okay. Anyways, I did three layers in this bad boy, kind of like a lasagna, and then I topped it because I'm extra with some Valentine sprinkles and extra strawberries. This made an entire trifle dish. This thing is huge. I don't even know how to represent how large it is. So an entire trifle dish, this would be serving for a party probably, I don't know, between 10 and 20 people depending on- Oh, easy. Easy, easy. maybe five if they really like it, you know? But- I mean, one. One me. really likes it. John will test it in a minute. So this is everything that's left over. There's plenty more. It would probably make another one of those trifles. So this recipe would make two. But what I'm gonna do is take these little soup containers and make some like, you know, probably three to four serving or maybe two serving depending on how much people like it again. I will put some of these in for my neighbors because there's no way we could consume all this. We're probably gonna be sending some of this with John to work, even the trifle container. So anyways, just wanted to show you all of that. And now John will gladly do a taste test for the strawberry shortcake. Okay, weirdo. Okay, now you just look weird. Okay, John is gonna taste test first the strawberry shortcake. I mean, what's not to like? Beef, good. <laughs> is oh, it man. as good as you remember? The strawberry sauce is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem. We don't. I don't need to take it to work. No, just keep it at home. Yeah. It, it won't. I don't think it'll make it two days. <laughs> And then we also have these crescent roll, uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna call these, pinwheels or something. I'll just treat I need you. To, I need to stop. I'll treat you. John loves peanut butter, so this is right up his alley. That's a problem. Is it good? That's a problem. Really? This is, this is me. This is not, that, you're not gonna like this. I, I think I'm just gonna have to consume all those. Oh, well, that's so nice of you. What a sacrifice you're making. Yeah, this is, you know who would like this? Who? Your sister. Really? Mm -hmm. She doesn't like chocolate. She just have to skip that part. It's like soft and gooey. But then like crunchy on the outside. But amazing. Messy. But. How, like how sweet would you say it is? Like is it breakfast? Is it like something you could have for breakfast? That's or more is it of a, like more of a dessert? No, that's more breakfast. It's like breakfast? breakfast. Like it's not too sweet. It's not overly no, sweet. No, it's not overly sweet at all. If you wanted to make it's it It's more a peanut buttery than, than it is sweet. And if you wanted to like up the factor, you could put like an icing on it or something. If you put icing on it. Then it would be dessert. I don't know. I think we're gonna have to get some icing and make it again. We're just gonna have again, to try another sacrifice. for science. For science. For science. All right, but it you. is it is um, amazing. On point. Highly recommend. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Would recommend. All right. Thank you for your feedback, sir. Good evening. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. It means the absolute world to me. I hope I brought whatever you needed when you clicked on that thumbnail. If I did, please reward me with the thumbs up. And I hope you have a magical day. Bye.